Welcome back everyone. This week we did some thrifting and we scored. So we were thrifting for spring decor, which hopefully you're in the mood to watch and that's why you clicked on this video. So welcome. Let's take a look and look for some items and I'm gonna mention some items to you that I think would be a good thing to look for at the thrift store for your spring decor and to be more specific, spring decor that you can use outside. All right, so our first item of spring decor that we are gonna look for at the thrift store are baskets. And baskets are a plenty when you're at the thrift store. And what was really cool is that even though that's kind of something that's into the season or going into the season, I think because it's just early enough, there are options. So there were plenty of options to choose from there. And I was more specifically looking for baskets that you could use as planters. So being able to put a potted plant in or some of them even had the lining that you could go ahead and put the soil in straight away along with some flowers or a plant of some kind. And this can just add such life to your porch, adding some fresh new plants always just gives a good welcoming vibe to your front porch but also i think it's very in season because spring is coming so foliage is coming back flowers are coming back and just really adding that life to your front porch can look really neat so be sure to look out for baskets also easter is coming up so if you're into crafting and making something look cute and original Take a look at the baskets because you can definitely do that and some are as low as less than a dollar so that's even less than what you can get a basket for at the dollar tree or dollar 25 tree <laughs> we should say so take a look out for the baskets i think that's a great option for using for plants i think it looks really cool and it's just a nice thing to get at the thrift store all right, and sticking to our outside theme for decorations, you gotta take a look at the wreaths. There were so many options there, and I think that you could take off a lot of the flowers or things that you might see on a wreath. If you're kind of seeing some other seasonal wreaths, you can remove those items and put in some new picks of different flowers or foliage. Um, but I actually found one that I thought was just honestly perfect what was really neat too is i found some just bare circles so you could really go you know full out with something original there which was also neat but i wasn't in the market for that this time but i did find something that i'm thinking i'm gonna add stuff to but it also just honestly looks good by itself and here it is it's actually quite big so this is perfect for the front door now i will say it's sort of messy it's got some of its pieces falling off now this was a dollar 99 you guys i thought i scored majorly on this so see how big it is <laughs> and i think it really looks great by itself i think it just looks so great so cute springy very neutral too, not anything too crazy with colors or flowers. But what I love about its neutral state is that I can choose to add to this, but also thinking ahead and thinking in terms of just being able to have longevity. This is something that you could use really for a lot of the spring, summer, even a little bit into fall. Honestly, even a little in winter because you see a lot of these colors right now, um, especially with our plants that are evergreen and don't die out when it freezes. So I just love this. Look for wreaths, you guys. There are options out there at the thrift store and this is a great decorative item for your front porch or even inside somewhere. All right, and lastly for this video, and let me know if you guys want a part two of this video of some spring decor that we should thrift for for inside the house. Um, but lastly for this video, this is the most exciting to me. These are bird houses and bird feeders. So I was able to actually see a couple of bird houses at the thrift store. However, I wasn't a fan of the price, so I passed on those. But what I did find are things that you can use as bird feeders that are not necessarily something that you would think 
to use as a bird feeder. And I did not come up with this idea myself, so I can't take credit for that. It was a photo that I saw on Facebook. If I can find that photo, I will put that in the video here, but it didn't really, it didn't come from a person. It was a repost of someone else's photo, but it's candles, candle holders. So here we have our first one that I fell in love with as soon as I saw it. I thought it looked so great for outside. Now this one was $4.99, a little more than I would typically pay for, um, but for the use of it and the fact that I'm gonna be able to use this season after season, I had to pick it up. So this is a little iron decorative item that would normally probably sit on a console table or table somewhere. Um, you could hang it to a wall, but I think its original purpose was to be on a table. So here we have that. Then two aisles down in the glassware, I found three glass votives. Now this may have been with this originally, but they didn't have it together. Um, and these were 99 cents. So what we're going to do, probably could have taken that apart before I started filming. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take our little votive, fill it with seeds and hang it outside so the birds can come to this beautiful feeder. And I couldn't just get one. <laughs> so this one, actually this one was not from Goodwill. This one was from another thrift store that my husband and I found recently. And this was $4. But this one is perfect for hanging on the fence. And it also has three little spots. And then this one has very cool looking little votives and they'll be just like that. And so what the, what we're going to do again is put in the seeds and the birds will come and it's just a nice, pretty decorative item for your garden or backyard or fence, really anywhere that you can hang this and have it be nice and sturdy. But I just thought that was such a cute idea for some outside spring decor. And I've got one more and this is so cute. This little lamp post reminds me of if you guys know the story of the Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe, the lamp post when, um, of course I'm going to forget her name. No, <laughs> when she goes into Narnia and she meets Mr. Tumnus. All right, Monica's getting off on a tangent, so I'll be quiet, but look how cute this lamp post is. It's actually, of course, another candle holder. So you see the little spot for the, for the little tea light there. But what I'm going to do, there's an opening right here. So it's got the, the glass or the, whatever this is going to sounds like glass, maybe plastic on the sides. But what we can do is I'm going to bend this piece of metal up so that way, or I may just take it off completely. We'll see if I can even do that. Um, but that way there's an opening and then we can just have, there's, there's enough space for one little bird there. And that is just so cute. Let's see how much this was. It was $2.99. Adorable. Okay, that's it for this week's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you got some inspiration for things that you can thrift for outside spring decor items. I probably will do some inside decor because there is just so much to look for. Um, I also have some fun DIYs planned for some videos coming up, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like. Also, comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And if you're not already, subscribe. All of the above helps out my channel so much. I really appreciate everyone's support, all the new subscribers, and I just want to continue to help everyone know that you can make your house original to you without spending a ton of money. These items are at thrift stores, antique malls, estate sales. They're all over the place. We can go to some regular stores too, but I just want to inspire everyone to find what they like and decorate for you. Decorate for yourself, not for other people. What do you love and make it your own. So I hope you have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye.